today I'll be making a special recipe, which is called a garlic bread, or in Ukrainian it's called, it's called a pampushka. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So it's called pampushka, that's what I'll be making. And now this in collaboration with Mr. Mike Atomic Shrimp. I'm making this in the honor of Ukraine, you know, victims of, uh, of Putin's aggression. And all my heart goes to the to every one of Ukrainians that are suffering, those that have been killed and those that have been maimed by dictator Putin, a man who doesn't who doesn't value human life. My heart goes to all of them. And I wish them all the best in the future and also in the present. Putin, you know, love is going to win at the end of the day. Yes, love is going to win at the end of the hatred. Shouldn't be part of our society. Now we'll do everything we can to rid our society of hate. It's like Putin is uh, is good and full of hate. All right, let me go to that now. This pan actually weighs 90 grams. So I'll be weighing, I'll be having 400 grams of flour. All right, that is our 400 grams of our of flour, 399. Okay, that is more or less 400 grams. The stainless bowl is not big enough, so I'll be replacing it with a with a plastic bowl. And mind you, this is a reusable plastic bowl. We've been using this for the past for the past two years now, and I'm pretty sure if it doesn't break, we can use it for for 10 years or 20 years if it doesn't break. So it's a reusable plastic. So Gradually, I've been caring about our environment to where I have the power to do that. I can have power to do it in everything. But in a place, in a situation where I have the power to do it, I will surely do it. We only have one world, so we must care about it. One teaspoon of dried yeast, dried and active yeast. So, so yeast. right there also just like mr mike said in his video if you want to contribute to uh to the struggle of the ukrainians the link will also be in my video too please let us support them with whatever we can they need our help we are all humans we are all one species and we must care for one another and i want to use the opportunity to also thank my my patrons for caring for me thank you all i really appreciate you guys thank you so much for your care i'm fully fully appreciated of you guys so one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of uh, salt all right i don't have a graduated cup or jug i don't have that so i'll be making use of this cup one cup equals 250 milliliter so the uh, addition of my egg and my lukewarm water should be 225 milliliter. So I'm going to make 250 and I'll subtract 25 milliliter from the measurement. And now this ingredient, this recipe sh should not need the uh, ingredient measurement to be super accurate. My lukewarm water. Okay, that should be minus 25 milliliter. Okay, let me mix all this first. The dry ingredient. And you pour it right there. All right, the mixing now. I love the process of forming dough. Seriously, I just I love doing it. That is why uh, baking is one of the things that I'm in love with presently. I just love uh, I love the the idea of me forming dough. You know. Okay, all right. This one is faster. Using my hand is faster than using the spoon. Alright, once again, this is in collaboration with the Atomic Shrimp, Mr. Mike. We are making this recipe in support of Ukraine. 
my heart goes to all Ukrainians. Okay, now we have the first stage of kneading. Now it's now time to knead. Oh, flour. I need flour. So that our, the plastic board will not be sticking to the door. Okay. <laughs> the way Mr. Mike did his own, <laughs> I'll be using different method. Okay. All right, I'm done with the kneading. So I'll be placing it in the bowl and allow it to proof for 45 minutes, oh, for 25 minutes. Mr. Mike used 45 minutes, but because of our warm climate weather here, warm climate, uh, mine should be well proofed within 15 minutes. Or let me say within 18 minutes should be well proofed. You know, there is cold, here is warm. So, well covered. I'll check it back in the next 20 minutes. Let me give it 20 minutes. Oh my God! <laughs> it seems uh, some fowls they've attacked the Saint Leaves tree. It used to be more than this, so I don't know why it is so 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 few like this. And I'm suspecting all oh, these are chickens and hens. They are the ones that have attacked the the herb. So that's the only option I have. Right here in the garden, we also have. It's for the whole <laughs> building. So we have our uh, bitter leaves. We have bitter leaves. We have our uh, water leaves. And we have chewed leaves too. The one make, that we use for making the way do. So I'm still going to. I still have some that I can take here. I think uh, this should be enough. Yes, it should be enough. Oh my, look at it, the hair strand. <laughs> look at that. Ah. Okay, I removed it in the kitchen. All right. So for the second needle now. Oh, yes. There's a huge difference now. It's getting this one is the texture is now in, in uniform. It's now far far better. But uh, what I'm noticing is that uh, the dough didn't they didn't raise enough. It's like uh, probably I didn't use enough yeast. That's what I'm suspecting. I didn't use enough yeast. Uh -huh. well, I don't know. I don't know how how yeast yeast used to look like when it is expired. I don't know the condition. Probably it doesn't last long when it's a small plastic bag. But uh the second proving will determine if what I'm saying is correct or not. Alright, it's now time for me to divide into eight places. Alright? Oh my god, I'm not good at division. <laughs> Alright, I'll go with that. Okay. I hope the division doesn't have to be super accurate. Okay. Into into ball. You know you cage the door. Look at that. You cage it. Try right, to roll on your palm. You got the caging. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is the first time that I'll be doing anything <laughs> anything close to this. I'm not sure I've ever done it before. And this is fun, believe me. <laughs> that is why I love Bikin. I find it to be entertaining. Do you believe me? I'm a, I'm a novice when it comes to baking. But I love it. So this is the door well arranged. I know it doesn't look how uh, glamorous and beautiful, I know that, but I would, remember I'm a novice, I'm still a line, I'm still a student when it comes to baking, so I still have a lot to learn. So, <laughs> so whatever mistake you think I've made, 
I was doing the process of preparing this dough. Please let me know in the comment section below. Any better ingredients you think I would love it. Remember, I'll be Africanizing this recipe. I'm not going to be doing a carbon copy of atomic shrimp. I'll be Africanizing it. I'll be adding small quantity of our African ingredient to it. So, whatever advice you have for me for baking and for other cooking, please write it down, put it in the comment section below. I'll surely go through all your comments. So, foil. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this. Uh, it's already 45 minutes. Now, let me check. Did it rise? It seems it's rose. So not as big as Mr. Mike's. But uh well, let me let me quickly rearrange it. Yeah, that's the arrangement rearrangement. Look at that. Remember I'm doing this for the first time. I'm still very very terrible terrible as this. It's rose, it is too soft. So I can bake it like this. All right, this is my egg. To to paint the dough with egg. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> this is a paintbrush. I've never used it for painting. I bought it brand new. Uh, that was that of the one used for baking. That one is too expensive. So I had to go for the for the one for paint. That was too, too expensive for me. So, I'm going to preheat the oven now. I'll preheat the oven and I'll bake it. The temperature of the oven will be 225 degrees Celsius. In the preparation of the, of the topping now, I have my two cloves of garlic right here. I love to make it, I'm still going to chop the rest to very very small I, I I prefer the the garlic the garlic plant more than the powder you know the the powder doesn't usually have the the better part of the smell but the plant itself is a hundred percent hundred percent the smell of garlic there are many people that used to eat this garlic raw. They take it and remove the, the dry the dry layer and start chewing it. I believe me, I can't. I don't know how they do it. So this is my scent leaf that I'll be use that I'll be using to replace uh, the polished leaves used by Mr. Mike. So my scent I'll leave. Instead of the parsley leaf, it's usually it's usually abundant during rainy season, but because this is dry season, it's not a, it's not a, in abundance. Then that is how you <laughs> that you chop it. You hold it together. Okay, as simple as that. Now I can't remember the botanical name of scent leaf, but it's like it has about, uh, about three regular names that it has, aside from the scientific names. If you have a lesson, you have in pile. You have in pile and uh, your stool becomes very hard. What you do is that you look for this scent leaf, combine it with bitter leaves, you rinse out, you wash out the, you wash out the dust, and add very small quantities of water and a pinch of salt, and something like uh, you ring. You now, when you squeeze it, the juice that comes out of it, drink it. It treats a uh, pile and hemorrhoid. Yes, for the next three days, you try to be taking the juice, the juice that comes out of the combination of the two. So, you try it. This is very good. 
very, very good for it. All right, we have the garlic and the sand leaf here, and a pinch of salt. That is about it. Three teaspoons of red oil. Mr. Mike used sunflower oil, but uh, to Africanize it, I'll be making use of uh, red oil. Very, very common on over Nigeria. I'll be adding three spoons. Okay. That is that as simple as ABC. Now I'm going to allow this to soak up. Let it soak up probably for five minutes. All right, this is piping hot. You can see that. Okay. Now let me quickly apply the <laughs> it's not as beautiful as uh, Tommy shrimp, but uh, I'm still proud of this. I know it doesn't come out, doesn't come out well, doesn't come out well at all. But I'm still proud of this one. Yes, I'm very sure the next one I'll be doing will be far, far better than this one. Be far, far better than this. So I'm allow this to cool down. So this is my garlic bread, my pampushka bread, in honor of the people of Ukraine. We are done here and it's cool. So, oh my God, the base is burnt. <laughs> I don't know why. I think uh, this uh, my baking pan used to burn. It used to burn my uh, my baked uh, food and. Uh, I'll stop using this uh, this pan. I'll stop using it. No, yeah, I don't know. Hmm, tastes good. Look at the inside. Wow, this is good. All right, that's about the video. Please like my video. You can also become my patrons by supporting my channel. I'm very very grateful. And also for my existing uh, patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate that. If you don't want to, let's say you don't want to become a patron, just want to buy me a cup of coffee. The link will also be there at the description of, uh, on the description of the video. So, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to enjoy this. A lot looking forward to. All right. See you next time.